It is uh, now 11:17. Jason Michael, we had a picture perfect today, and I understand you're promising another one for tomorrow. I'm doing my very best, Russ. You know, I, I got a request bowl over there on my desk, and people are just kind of <laughs> dropping things in there. You know, I, at the end of the day, we're kind of thinking about how can we best tell this forecast? What are we looking at tomorrow? What is about the day after? And certainly it, it becomes a kind of a messy pot when you start to look towards the weekend. Well, in short order, we have a little bit of rain coming in, but also cooler weather coming in. But before that, though, we can brace ourselves for another almost carbon copy of what we experienced today. So here's what the setup is look like for tonight. Low 50s and even to upper 40s for some areas well inland. At least for the forecast for tomorrow that we have sunny clouds mixed back in. So balmy conditions is what I'm calling it for our Thursday. But look at this. By the time we get to about 8 a.m. We'll be in the mid 50s and then rock, rocketing back up towards about 70 degrees in the early afternoon hours and then kind of settling in after that. So here's the big picture of what we have on satellite and radar across the area. As I said before, earlier around 6, 7 p.m broadcast that area of high pressure is moving just so slightly over towards the, the south and east. So it's going to be throwing back some of those southwesterly winds what we're going to have to contend with for tomorrow, roughly about five to 10 miles per hour. This is what's setting the stage of what we're expecting thereafter. So we'll have a cold front arriving late tomorrow night through early Friday and it'll likely precipitate with some even colder weather following suit after that calming winds across the area overnight tonight. We got temperatures currently in the upper 40s there. You can see 47 for Worcester, 58 Akron Kenton. So we have the urban isle, ur urban island heat effect happening in the city. So this is why we have warmer conditions and even out in Ashtabula, you're also about 48 degrees, but there's about seven degrees warmer in Ashtabula from 24 hours ago, eight degrees warmer in Akron Kenton, seven for Elyria and about five degrees warmer at Cuyahoga County Airport. This is what we have coming our way. We have a little bit of slight rain chance coming on in. Despite being in a colder air mass, as far as the jet concerned, we still have that jet sliding down south. So we have that northerly jet kind of getting to where it needs to be as we're making our way further into the fall season. So we don't have a rapid changeover from very warm, moist conditions to drier, colder air, which is why we don't have a severe outlook expected for tomorrow. But we do have a little bit of rain coming back in, and it's going to be a little bit more than a drop in the bucket, anywhere from lighter amounts south and also to maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe to a half inch area south and also east across the region. So we'll keep it a cold front. And the headlines for us tomorrow, late tomorrow, heading into early Friday with the burr coming in, getting us a good, bit, a good bit of a clutch as we head towards Friday. Once we get weekend gets here, high pressure hops back in the driver's seat, and then we're going to be smooth sailing, especially for our guardians that are going to be facing off in some pretty high impact games for this weekend. There's a frontal boundary coming in. You can see there in the early hours for us on Friday. I think we'll have a few roll off lake effect showers coming on in throughout the day on Friday, but I think the theme of the weather store is going to be this deep trough extending down this darker color blue. That is some very cold air, likely the coldest that we've had so far this season. Once we get high pressure hopping back in, we still got this cold kind of marinating across the region. So we'll be in the mid 50s to upper 50s starting out for next week. Here's that Union Home Mortgage 7 a outlook. You can see their temperatures mid to low 50s there. Cloud cover on Friday, mid 50s expected on Saturday. Look at this Sunday, Monday heading towards Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Temperatures climbing. But again, as I said before earlier in the broadcast, Russ and Laura, what goes up must come down. So we got 50s and even some 60s expected by the end of next week. Oh, that forecast already taking us to the middle of the month. Mm -hmm. My goodness. All right, Jason, thank you.